Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and serene lakes, lived a young girl named Elara. Elara had an extraordinary talent that set her apart from the others. She possessed a gift for creating enchanting melodies that seemed to touch the very soul of anyone who heard them. Her music was a blend of emotions, a language that transcended words and spoke directly to the heart. From the time she was a child, Elara would spend hours by the lake, watching the ripples dance to the rhythm of the wind, and then she would replicate those rhythms on her small wooden flute. Her music was her joy, her passion, and her way of expressing the beauty she saw in the world around her. But as Elara grew older, she began to notice a change in the attitudes of those around her. The villagers, who once marveled at her music, now seemed to be more interested in practical matters. They urged Elara to focus on more, sensible, pursuits and questioned the value of her melodies. What good does your music do for the village? They would ask, implying that her passion was frivolous and unimportant. Alara's heart was heavy with their words, and she started to doubt the worth of her melodies. She wondered if perhaps she should heed their advice and redirect her energy towards more practical endeavors. She decided to suppress her passion and seek out activities that seemed more useful to the village. For a while, she tried her hand at farming, helping with the harvest and tending to the fields. But her heart wasn't in it, and her once vibrant spirit began to dim. She felt a void that no amount of practical work could fill. The village noticed the change in her, and even though they had intended to help her find a more meaningful role, they realized that they had inadvertently dimmed the light that once shone so brightly in her. One day, a wandering minstrel arrived in the village. He had heard whispers of Alara's musical talent and asked her to play for him. Reluctantly, she agreed, her fingers hesitant on the flute that had once felt like an extension of herself. As she played, the melodies flowed out of her, carrying with them all the emotions she had buried deep inside. The minstrel closed his eyes and listened, lost in the ethereal music. When the last note faded away, he opened his eyes and looked at Elara with tears in his own. Child, he said softly, your music is a gift from the heavens. It has the power to heal hearts, to inspire dreams, and to remind people of the beauty that exists beyond the mundane. Elara was moved by his words, and for the first time in a long while, she felt a glimmer of hope. The minstrel's words reminded her of the magic her music could bring. Not just to herself, but to others as well. She realized that pursuing her passion wasn't just about personal joy. It was about sharing something precious with the world. With newfound determination, Elara embraced her music once again. She played by the lake. And soon villagers began to gather drawn by the enchanting melodies that lifted their spirits. Alara's music became a source of solace, a bridge between hearts, and a reminder that there was more to life than just practicality. Over time, the village transformed into a haven for artists, musicians, and dreamers from all around. Alara's melodies had ignited a spark in the hearts of the villagers showing them that pursuing their passions was a worthy endeavor. The village thrived not only economically but spiritually, as people realized that their hobbies and passions were integral to their well-being. And so, in that little village, the melodies that once came from the heart of a young girl echoed through time, reminding generations that pursuing hobbies and passions that bring joy doesn't just enrich our own lives, but the lives of those around us. For within our passions lies the power to create a world more vibrant, more connected, and more beautiful than we could ever imagine.